This is not a- the XFL. Hey everybody, this sneak preview of This Is Not The XFL Show is brought to you by Pretty Easy Podcasts. If you've ever thought about doing a podcast but did not want to do all the technical stuff, you have a great idea, you have a passion, you want to do a show, you maybe don't have the time, you need someone to help you, go to prettyeasypodcast.com and get started today. Of course, the full episode of this show is on Patreon. Give to our Patreon on any tier of your choice and get all sorts of extra XFL content and, of course, a whole lot of football talk, all the football talk you can handle. Check it out. Okay, the CFL, the Canadian Football League, their collective bargaining agreement is uh, finalized, I believe, as of Wednesday, May 22nd. And the details are out, and they're a very interesting. Um, you're you're going to have a minimum salary of of sixty five thousand dollars Canadian uh, starting in twenty twenty. Uh, players are going to get revenue sharing with their deal with TSN, which is like the ESPN of Canada. Uh, you're going to see uh, the all important ratios up at the CFL uh, make ha- be tweaked. And if you don't know about the ratios. Uh, the CFL very strict on the amount of national players, Canadian players versus international players or American players or wherever, any any other country besides Canada. There has to be actual Canadians on rosters. There's rules against that to make sure that the Canadian Football League stays Canadian. And they're making changes to those ratios, though, to grow their game a little bit and to maybe uh, widen the net Um, also, you know, they're doing some things with work permits for these international players that go up to Canada to maybe keep them there. So let's get into that because this affects the XFL. This affects uh, American football players, and it is a league that has been around for a long time. It has a solid footing and it's looking to expand a little bit. And I think, you know, with the XFL's emergence, it's going to make it hard for the CFL, but the CFL is doing everything they can to make sure they don't lose any ground and that they can be ambitious. So uh, they're, you know, upping of the minimum salary uh, for players starting next year. Thanks for listening to this preview of This Is Not The XFL Show. To get the full episode, please join our Patreon. You'll get this show each and every single week, plus all of our other bonus content. We have all the football you can handle right there on our Patreon page. This is not the XFL show is a production of pretty easy podcasts. Go to prettyeasypodcasts.com to get your own podcast started today.